today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're in the God Dimension. And because we're in the God Dimension, we have this God Potion. That when we throw it onto a normal mob, it turns it into its godly variant. Look at this guy. He is so cool. Oh my gosh. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cordy, and I'm totally gonna spawn in way better mobs. We'll see about that. And anyways, let the battle begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we can start off by cheating. And we actually have this massive one-way glass wall set up right here. So, on Smirky's side, it's gonna be bedrock, and we can see through this wall and spotted the exact counters to Smirky. And oh my gosh, what did he spawn in? He spawned in some crazy skeleton warrior god? I don't even know what this guy is, but he is super, super cool looking. And the thing is, Smirky does not have access to this god potion. So he's not gonna be able to turn his mob into its god variant, which is really good for us because we'll be able to spot in way, way better mobs than him. And since he kinda has this skeleton looking monster, I kinda wanna spot in a skeleton too. So I'm just gonna spot a skeleton in the water right here, just so he doesn't burn from the daylight. And remember, we're definitely not just gonna have this super weak skeleton. We are going to throw the god potion onto it to turn it into the most powerful version of itself. And the god version of the skeleton will definitely be more powerful than Smirky's skeleton mob. So let's just get our potion and throw this in three, two, one, and let's see the god variant. And oh my gosh, is this the god version of a skeleton? I think it is. And this is one of the most insane mobs I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just look at them. He has these four giant arms, a floating skeleton skull, and skeleton skulls all around his body, all enclosed by this purple pink encasing, keeping it all closed in. And remember, since this is a god variant, this thing has some crazy attacks. And I probably won't even be able to test them all, but I'm just gonna try and test a few. So let me go into survival mode real quick, and mister, uh, do you do any cool attacks? Wait, maybe if I punch it? And wait, what is it doing? Oh my gosh! Is it literally shooting a laser at me right now? What on earth? That does so much damage. And look, it can even make these mounts come out of the floor to eat you from the bottom of the world. These are crazy magic attacks. And wait, I gotta go in creative mode before I die. Okay, that was pretty close. And as you can see, that was just his weakest attacks. This guy has some crazy, crazy attacks. And that was only just the beginning. This is gonna be such a cool mob battle to watch. And I think Smirky might have spawned his mob in again. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at this thing again. And it is super scary. It even has, like, dark fur on its shoulder for clothes. Oh, my gosh. Well, anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Gordy, my army is going super duper good this time. Smirky, your army's going super duper good? What kind of mob did you spawn in? Because I have a really, really cool skeleton monster. A really cool skeleton monster? Wait, what are the chances that I also have a cool skeleton monster? And I bet it's cooler because it also has armor. Wait, you also have a skeleton monster? monster and your guy has armor? Well, you have no idea what my skeleton monster looks like. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, Cordy, I am ready to drop the walls. Well, then let's go and oh my gosh, I think our mobs are about to fight Smirky. Yeah, they definitely are. And whoa, look at these attacks. Look at my guy. I think he's spawning in these purple soul zombies and he's even doing all his crazy magic attacks on your guy. You're right. And Cordy, look at the attacks that you your guy can do. Okay, my guy needs to go and hit your mom with a sword. Smarky, your guy has a sword. He is so old-fashioned. A sword is no match for my magic powers that my mom has. My sword definitely is a match, Cardi, because it's an iron sword. Uh an iron sword, Smirky. He even has a wooden shield. Your skeleton is so trash that it's just getting eaten alive from the mouths coming out the floor. And wait, Smirky, I think it just died. And wait, what the heck? Do you see what it spawned in once it died? Wait, you're right. What is this? Wait, is this my mom or your mom? I think that's your mom. I think when your mom dies, it spawns in this super scary ghost monster. And wait, are you actually gonna have a chance to win? I definitely will, because this guy looks even powerful than the guy I spawned in. Well, yeah. 
yeah, this guy's definitely more powerful than the guy you started with, but I still think he's gonna die because my guy just has crazy laser attacks. Oh my gosh, you're right about that. And wait, my guy's on under half health already. Are you kidding me? And Smirky, he is not just on under half health now. He is dead. And oh my gosh, I don't see any boss bar at the top of the screen. That means I just won. There is no way you won from that, Cordy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to go and spawn in a way better mob, I guess. Yes, you definitely do. And let's go on to the next round. Of course. And boom, we are now on the second round of the mob battle. But wait, why is the arena starting to turn into this white color? Wait, I think this is becoming more and more of the god dimension every single round that happens. This means my god potion is going to get more and more powerful as each round goes on. This is going to be awesome. Well, before I can use my new and approved god potion, we need to look through this one-way glass so we can know exactly what counter we need to spawn. Spawn in. And wait, what is this? Smarky spawning in these giant mutant piglin beasts. These guys are so cool. They even have this big banner on their back. These must be like tribe leaders. Oh my gosh. Well, I think I know how we can defeat these guys. And just like last round, we're gonna start with a super basic mob, which is a zombie. And before he burns to death, we actually need to give this guy a helmet. And there we go. Now he will not take damage from the sunlight. And this is gonna be awesome. But since we gave this guy an iron helmet, Helmet? Why don't we just give him full iron armor at this point to make him into the ultimate iron armor zombie? And I'm pretty sure this will give a special effect to the god potion to maybe turn us into some super cool knight mob because knights wear full iron armor. So when we throw this god potion onto it, it will turn into a super godly zombie knight or at least I hope so. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So let's throw this in three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what spawned in? This mob is enormous. This is like 10 times bigger than me. The bottom of its leg is literally bigger than me. This thing is so cool. And look at the massive hammer it has. This probably will do so much damage. And just like my last mob, this thing even has skeleton skulls all around its body. Well, that must be a common theme in really, really godly OP mobs. And if you thought my last mob's attacks were cool, you're just gonna have to wait and see this mob's attacks. Because if this thing can't one-shot all of these mutant piglets smirky ass, I don't know what would. Will. But just to 100% make sure that this guy has the attacks I think he does, let's just spawn in a practice wither so we can test his attacks on it. So let's just spawn this in like that, set this on a team, set this on a team, and now they should start to fight it. Oh my gosh, what just happened? He spotted these little minions to heal him, and look, the wither's alive, and I wonder if my knight's gonna do anything. Oh, and I think he definitely did something, because that wither just died right in front of my eyes. I have never seen a wither die that quickly. And we barely got to see any of this knight's attacks. So that, so if this knight just used its weakest attack on that wither and it insta-killed it, I cannot even imagine what other attacks it has. Well, I guess this is what you get when you throw god potions on mobs. And Smirky, how is your army going in this second round? Well, I have made a giant army of really strong mutants. Wait, really strong mutant, Smirky? Did you use mutant zombies or maybe mutant piglins? Okay, well, the first one was wrong, but how did you guess muted piglins? There are so many muted mobs. Well, I guess I just took a really, really lucky guess because there's a massive bedrock wall in the middle. There is no way that I'd be able to cheat Smirky. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, that's weird you guessed piglins, but yeah, that is what I spawned in. Well, Smirky, since you think you have a very powerful mob, I guess we're just gonna need to drop the walls and you'll see what mob I spawned in. Alright, Cardi, well in that case, I'm ready to drop the walls. Then let's go in. Oh my gosh, I think our mobs are about to start fighting each other. And do you see my mob? Yes, I see your mob. That's crazy. And look, it's even summoning in these little minions to literally heal it. Oh my gosh. Come on, mister. You need to do an attack and kill these piglins. Oh, I don't think it will do any attacks. And this guy can't even heal it fast enough. And Smirky, I think it's doing its attacks. You better watch out. And oh my gosh, it just launched all your piglins in the air. Oh my my gosh, you're right, and it keeps spawning in even more of its minions. And you're right, Smirky. There are so many minions that it cannot even take damage anymore. That has to be cheating, right? No, Smirky, this is its attack. This is completely fair, and so many of your piglets are just taking tons and tons of damage. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. How are they supposed to even kill it? You guys gotta kill its minions. No, Smirky, you cannot push them to kill the minions. These are here for a reason, to help me win the mob battle. Uh-oh. Oh, your 
you're about to kill a lot more of my piglins and oh my gosh you're killing so much didn't you start with like 50 of these guys there's only like five now yes i did i started with like over 20 and there was just tons of smoke attacks everywhere and i think that is the end of all your piglins i don't see any around here there's just a bunch of gold on the ground from the items they drop when they die oh my gosh that's crazy we're gonna need to move on to the third round and you better spot in way better mobs to counter mine all right well in that case i will spot in way better mobs let's go and boom we're now on the next round and wait my theory of the arena turning more godly each round is definitely coming true because look at this this place has a bunch more weight blocks everywhere than it did last round and that means our potion is even more powerful this round i thought last mob was crazy but i guess it's just gonna get even better but like we always do let's start off by cheating with this one way glass wall and then we'll throw our potions after and wait what are these it looks like smirky spotting at these weird end hoglin monsters and wait he's not only spotting these guys and he's also spotting at these big elephant mammoths well that's really cool and it looks like smirky's going with a bunch of really strong animal mobs well i think that means we're just gonna need to choose an even more powerful mob this round and for the mob i'm gonna spot i'm gonna spot one of the smallest mobs in all of minecraft and i know i said i'd choose a powerful mob and this isn't really that powerful but remember we have the round three god potion which should make this tiny little endermite silverfish creature into a super super crazy monster and let me just try and take a guess of what an endermite might turn into maybe it'll turn into like a giant slug or maybe it'll turn into like an end god i have no idea but i guess we're just gonna have to see for ourselves so let's just throw this potion in three two one and here we go and look at what that just turned into is this like a hand monster what on earth that doesn't even make sense how did this tiny little endermite turn into a hand well i'm not gonna complain because this guy looks really powerful and he even has a massive eye right in the middle there and look i can just high five him and oh this is doing a little bit of damage to him i'm just punching his eye i'm sorry mr hand don't get mad at me but i kind of want to get another one of these guys so let's just spot in a bunch of these guys and just throw the god potion on all of them and boom now we got three of these hand monsters okay just like we've done with the other mobs we need to test these attacks because they're probably so cool so let's just hop in survival mode real quick and uh oh i'm on two hearts okay i have to be careful here and let's just go up to one of these hands and maybe give it a high five and uh oh i think it might have woke up look at this thing it's just like floating around me and is it turning into a fist oh my gosh it just tried to ram into me and uh oh i just died this thing does so much damage and remember that was just its weakest attack so if that's its weakest attack and it's literally turning into a fist i cannot imagine what else this thing could do i mean it could probably even shoot a laser out of that eye because i don't even know why it has an eye but it has these red things around it so that probably means it has a special magic attack these guys will definitely win against smirky's animal mobs and speaking of smirky uh smirky how is your mob army going on this third round my army is once again going super duper good and i think i spotted super duper creepy mobs wait you spotted super creepy mobs and what do you mean your army is going super super good once again smirky your army has never been good ever because i win every mob battle uh i mean i guess you're right but i think you just get lucky every time because always your armies are so good but this time i swear it's different oh yeah i just get lucky smirky i'm sure well let's see if i get lucky again in this third round are you ready to drop the walls all right but i swear if you get lucky again and have a really good mob i'm gonna be really sad cardi all right let's go in three two one and boom and oh my gosh do you see my mobs yes i see your mobs and what these are crazy cardi how did you know to spawn these in or these literally like hand bosses wait these aren't that crazy these look kind of stupid smirky these look stupid what are you talking about look at these guys they're smashing into your mobs and oh my gosh they're all doing it all at once wait you're right and oh my gosh they're killing so many of my guys at a time do you see this okay maybe they're not stupid yeah smirky they're definitely not stupid and they can barely take any damage because every time they go in to hit your mobs they go back up to fly away and stay safe from any attacks you're right wait that's actually so smart and why can't my mobs fly i should spawn in something that flies yeah smirky this is a big mistake on your part because you just spotted elephants and stuff and elephants can definitely not fly they're way too heavy oh my gosh you're right but these aren't elephants carney these are mammoths smirky those are basically the same thing they just have these big 
tusks and they're gonna die anyways. It doesn't matter what you spawn. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you're right. It's killing all my warlocks now. And you only have two left. And that means I just gotta get a couple more swoops from my hands. And there we go. Let's go. I just won the third round. Are you kidding me? And your hands didn't take a single hit of damage. This doesn't even take damage. Let's go, Smacky. You should have just bought it better, mobs. Let's go to the next round right now. All right. And boom, we're now on the fourth round. We're getting very close to the end. And you can tell that by how godly the arena is turning. This is the final step before the entire arena completely transforms into the god dimension. And remember, that means our potion is just yet another step closer to being very, very OP. And wait, look at this. Smirky spawning in his mobs. And oh my gosh, these things are massive. Okay, Smirky's actually stepping up his game a lot this time. These are like iron golems, but made out of nether blocks instead. And they have lava flowing down their entire body. Okay, these things probably do some serious damage. And I think that means we're gonna need to spawn in a nether mob too. So let's just grab a normal mob like we've done with the other rounds. And let's just spawn this guy right here. This is a wither skeleton. And remember the first round, we started with a skeleton skeleton and it turned into a crazy godly skeleton. Well, since the god potion's even more powerful now and a wither skeleton's more powerful than a skeleton, this is probably gonna turn into a crazy godly wither skeleton. And I cannot wait any longer. I just gotta see what this thing turns into. So let's throw this in three, two, uh, wait, what is this? Why is there a canvas here that literally has a subscribe button on it? Well, this has got to be a sign. Since so many of you guys watch all the videos but almost none of you guys are subscribed, Subscribe. Please, everyone that is watching this that is not subscribed, just subscribe. And then you'll be able to see even more insane mob battles like this. And then we'll be able to throw this god potion on the skeleton. So everyone, subscribe. I'm going to give you three seconds. Three two, one, and thanks for subscribing. Now, let's just get straight into throwing this god potion on the wither skeleton. Let's go! And oh my gosh, what hits this thing? This is actually insane. This is like a crazy flying mob. Its arms aren't even connected to its body. They're just floating in midair. And what is this sword? This is probably the craziest blood sword I've ever seen in my life. This guy is probably the second most powerful mob in Minecraft ever. Because the first most powerful mob will spawn next round. I didn't even want to test this guy's attacks because I already know they're going to be so, so much more powerful than Smirky's Blackstone Golem's attacks. I am not worrying about losing at all. And anyways, Smirky, how is your army going on this fourth round? My army might be the best one that I've done in a long time because finally I found a really good boss. Wait, you found a really good boss, Smirky? Probably spawned in like Iron Golems or something like that. Okay, there is no way you just said that, Cardi, because I did spawn in a golem. Wait, you spawned in a golem? Did you spawn in a blackstone golem then? How do you know, Cardi? There is no way. There's like so many different golems, like iron golems and... Uh, blackstone golems? Yeah, Smirky, you basically leaked your golem. That's how I knew. I just take a really good guess, and I did not know by any other way. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, Cardi, I guess I am ready to drop the walls. Let's go. Let's go, and oh my gosh, I think my mob's starting to do its attacks on your blackstone golems. Wait, I think you're right, but my guys aren't taking damage, only yours is. Smirky, are you sure about that? Because look at this fireball attacks it's doing, and it just they instantly killed your mob and it spotted these two little baby mobs. There is no way that just happened. And did you see that spin attack he just did? Yes, I saw that smirk and it just killed another one of your mobs. And oh my gosh, this is brutal. Oh my gosh, what kind of sword does this guy have? It's literally killing everything super duper quickly. And even though you have your most powerful mob yet, I am still killing them all. And oh my gosh, it just killed your last one and you just got these two little baby golems now. Oh my. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm getting rid of your own mob with its own sword. Oh my gosh, Murky, put down the sword because I already won the mob battle and we need to move on to the final round. All right, Cardi, then let's move on to the final round and I still have a chance to win, so let's go. Okay, Smirky, let's go. And boom, we're on the final round and oh my gosh, look at the arena. We have completely transformed into the god dimension and Smirky probably has no idea why everything is white around here because he doesn't even know we're in the god dimension. 
location. And anyways, let's see what he's gonna spawn in. And it looks like he's spotting in... What are these things? Are these like little tiny bunny rabbits? What are these? These are so funny looking. Look at their ears and everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't really know why Smirky's spotting these things. And he just fell off the arena while spotting them. He is so obsessed with spotting in as many of these guys as he can. And I think that means we're just gonna be able to kill even more mobs. And for the mob, I wanna throw the level 5 god potion onto. I really like the mob we used last time, which was a wither skeleton. So instead of just using a wither skeleton, let's build ourselves a full-on wither mob. Oh my gosh, look at this guy charging up. And if you think this guy's powerful now, you're just gonna have to see him when I throw this god potion on him. And let's just not wait any longer. I gotta see this guy right now. Let's throw this. And oh my gosh, look at this guy. This is truly a really, really cool wither. And I guess it got rid of two of its wither skulls, but it replaced it with this massive cape that's just flowing in the wind. And he is just flying above the ground. Wow, this guy is the coolest mob yet. His name is literally the monarch of chaos. This is truly a level five god mob. And look at the massive staff he has. This guy probably has the craziest attacks out of every single mob in Minecraft. I think it's safe to say this is the most powerful mob in Minecraft. Let's go. And yeah, we're definitely not gonna need to test this guy's attacks because he's gonna test it for us by killing all of Smirky's little rabbits. And Smirky, how is your army going on this final round? Do you think you're gonna be able to win? Yes, Cardi, of course I'll be able to win. I know I've said that every other round, Cardi, but you gotta trust me this round because I spotted really, really insane bosses like Think of the Cosmic Fiend, but 20 times better. Wait, what are you talking about, Smirky? You spotted tiny little rabbits. Cardi, I didn't even give you a hint. How do you know? Smirky, I just took a guess. That's how I knew. I'm just really, really, really good at guessing. Okay, Cardi, this is getting weird, but let's drop the balls, I guess. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and boom, and oh my gosh, Smirky, I think my mom's gonna start killing all of your mobs. Yeah, Cardi, there's no way it's gonna kill all my mobs. Remember what I said? This is like the cosmic feed, but 20, 20, 20 times better. Smirky, my mom is so OP. Look at all the attacks it's doing. It can literally teleport, strike lightning down, and so much more stuff. We are about to see all of this thing's attacks right now. And look, it's waving its watch, spotting in lightning, and setting all of your little bunny rabbits on fire and exploding them and spotting in random mobs. Wait, do you hear the noises my rabbits are making when they're dying? That is so gross. Yes, Smirky, I hear that. I think every single time one of your mobs dies, it does a tiny little quiet fart sound effect. And oh my gosh, this is so funny. Why does it fart when it dies? Why can't it do something useful? There's no way I spawned a mob this bad. Smirky, it can't even defeat the witch that my mob spawned in. That's how powerful my mob is. It just strikes lightning and I think all of your things are dead. Even though you started with like a thousand of them. Actually, there is one right here. Oh, that one's not gonna live though. And that is so gross. Let's go, Smirky. I just won the mob battle. And yeah, there's none of your mobs. Let's go. I can't believe it, Cardi. You know what? Just end the mob battle. But Cardi, I have a question before we actually end it. Why is the ground like snow or white wool? What is this? Okay, Smirky, since I've already won, I actually have something to admit to you. Do you know what I'm holding right now? I have no idea what you're holding right now, Cardi. What is that? This is a god potion, and this can literally turn any mob into its god variant. That's why I kept having such OP mobs. It's god variant, Cardi. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Wait, so uh, is this horse a god variant? Smirky, no. This horse is not a god variant. This is just what my god mob spawned in for some reason. But anyway, sorry for cheating. I'll give you the win. All right, let's go. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. I'd click the video on the screen and click the circle on the screen because that subscribes you to the channel. So subscribe and bye. Bye.